Hi, I'm Debarati Das and I'm a National Geographic Explorer. I'm currently a graduate student at McGill University and I study the geochemistry and habitability of Mars as a member of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory team. I use the data collected by the Martian rover Curiosity, which was built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The rover has a set of instruments that is used for zapping lasers at Martian rocks to tell its chemistry. And this set of instruments is called ChemCam. ChemCam was built and is operated by Los Alamos National Laboratory and the French National Center for Space Studies. ChemCam was responsible for the first ever discovery of the element boron on Mars. And this is really exciting because boron is really water soluble and can be used as a proxy for water activity on Mars. Boron was found in mineral filled cracks of Martian rocks. And the mineral that fills these cracks and hosts the boron is calcium sulfate. Some common calcium sulfate minerals known on Earth are gypsum, selenite, and hydrite, and basanite. And these minerals are also known to form vein-like deposits on earth rocks. This usually happens when water travels through cracks in rocks then eventually dries up, leaving behind the minerals that were dissolved in the water. Now we don't exactly know why we see boron and calcium sulfate veins in Mars rocks, but we can infer the possible reason of the enrichment by looking at other chemical trends and also by looking at textures of the Martian rocks. One way to support our inferences about Martian observations is by comparing them to what we've seen here on Earth. If we want to understand why we see boron in veins of Mars rocks, a good place to start would be veins in Earth rocks. The probability of finding boron in a calcium sulfate vein in an Earth rock is high in a calcium sulfate deposit near a borate mine. And it would be even better if the entire setup is in an environment that is similar to that of Mars. A great candidate for a place where we can find such a sample is borate deposits in dry lakes of Southern California. And that's exactly where I went with my collaborator, Dr. Patrick Gazda from Los Alamos National Laboratory. We visited the borate deposits of Death Valley National Park and a borate mine in the town of Boron in California. We found many interesting samples, some of which we suspect are calcium sulfates. In the next couple of blog posts and videos, we will talk about what we saw in field, why it is important to find boron on Mars, how can we compare observations between Mars and Earth, how do we collect samples on field, and what plan we have to process them. Stay tuned to find out more about Mars and Earth science.